solve x to the 3 fourths minus 2x to the 1 half minus 4x to the 1 fourth plus 8 is equal to 0. Now this sort of looks like a polynomial equation, but not exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make this look more like something I'm used to by using a substitution. So I'm going to go with the x to the 1 fourth. If I let u equal x to the 1 fourth, then u squared would be x to the 1 fourth squared. Multiplying exponents, that would be x to the 2 fourths, which is x to the 1 half. If u is x to the 1 fourth, then u cubed would be x to the 1 fourth cubed, which would be x to the 3 fourths. So notice that those both show up. So then this becomes u cubed minus 2u squared minus 4u plus 8 is 0. And I can now try to factor this polynomial. And in fact, it does factor using grouping. u cubed minus 2u squared factors as u squared by u minus 2. In the second grouping, minus 4u plus 8, that can be factored as negative 4 by u minus 2. And so then this factors as u minus 2 by u squared minus 4 is 0. So that means that u minus 2. And then the u squared minus 4, well, that's a u plus 2 and a u minus 2. So that tells me that u equals 2 or u equals negative 2. Let's substitute back. u is x to the 1 fourth. So x to the 1 fourth equals 2, or x to the 1 fourth equals negative 2. Now, what does x to the 1 fourth mean? Well, that's the same as the fourth root of x equals 2. And so if we were to raise both sides to the fourth power, x equals 16. Now let's look at this other equation. This says that the fourth root of x is negative 2. But now wait a second. The fourth root of x, if we think about how radical functions work, this fourth root of x, the domain tells us, well, not really the domain, but if I were to take the fourth root of a real number, I cannot get negative 2. So this tells me that there's no solution. So even though we can raise both sides to the fourth power, we would really have to be careful there. So this can't, this can't happen. And we'll accept the x equals 16. And we could then, we should really check our work on this to make sure that x equals 16 is a valid solution. Let's check. 16 to the 3 fourths is 8 because the fourth root of 16 is 2, and 2 cubed is 8, minus 2 times 16 to the 1 half. 16 to the 1 half is 4. The square root of 16 is 4, so minus 2 times 4. Minus 4x to the 1 fourth. So that was 16 to the 1 fourth is 2, minus 4 times 2, and then plus 8. So we have 8 minus 8 minus 8 plus 8. That does equal 0. So we can be confident that 16 is the solution of the equation.